Hello, my name is Pat Bose, and this is Welcome to SCAN. Today's topic is one of SCAN's new signature programs called Take Control of Your Health. And with us today, we have one of our soon-to-be master trainers slash peer leader, um, <coughs> Therese Rolke. Rolke. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. Um, I'm really excited that we're talking about this. Me too. Uh, for two reasons. One is that it's a great program. Mm -hmm. We're having a lot of success with it. Yes, we are. Um, mm -hmm. And it is one of our signature programs. Yes. And uh, just for me to kind of bring the audience up to speed, SCAN, um, after 25 years, we've been providing wonderful service mm -hmm. here in Monmouth and Ocean County. And we are getting into three signature programs that we're rolling out into the community. So people don't necessarily have to come to us. We're going to go to them. Mm -hmm. And one is called Take Control of Your Health. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that in depth in a minute. The other is called Financial Literacy for Older Women mm -hmm. and Men Too. Right. And we're developing the curriculum and rolling that out. And we're working with some major partners with us. So I'm excited about that. And the other one really has to go back to what SCAN's been doing for 25 years, and that's called healthy aging, mm -hmm. with an emphasis on brain fitness. And so, um, again, we will be rolling out our SCAN mall walking program in Mammoth Mall, or it is in existence, and we're hoping that people take advantage of it, because we're having some experts come in on a monthly basis to do some nutrition education, and also to, uh, Get people moving, because mm -hmm. we have found that to keep your brain fit, you need to move everything. That's true. <laughs> so with that said, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you come to our table and what role you're from. OK. Well, it's funny how um, this all got started for me. Um, I actually came to SCAN because I was promoting a financial wellness workshop that I wanted to present to the community. And I met you and Andrea. Um, with that in mind. And then actually, Andrew then said to me, you know, we're looking for peer leaders to teach this class called Take Control of Your Health. Would you be interested in it? I'm like, of course I would be. I would love, I'd love to do stuff like that in the community. So uh, the rest is history. I actually um, got involved hook, line, and sinker, and I absolutely love doing this. Okay. Love and it. so you are our official coordinator of this program. Yes, I am. So if anyone has any questions, they need to get in touch with you specifically. Absolutely. But we can give them general information at SCAN. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of get into, so what is this program, Take Control of Your Health? Mm -hmm. It's been around for a while. Yes. And it's also evidence-based, which is the, I guess it's the way that um, health training is going for the future mm -hmm. and the issue around evidence base is that it's been tested yes meaning that they've had positive results yes um and they have a formula mm -hmm. so go right ahead absolutely actually uh take control of your health the way the program got started uh, it is evidence-based which means that they have done testing uh, in the in the community where the workshop had been taken place. It um, started with Stanford University in California. They were giving a five-year federal grant to actually go out there and put this program together and do research and testing to see how effective it is in the community. And they had such positive results. Uh, and this is back in 1996 when all of it came together. So it's been around for almost 20 years now. And I didn't even realize that until I... Uh, yeah. Or I, yeah, yeah. until we were offered the opportunity to uh, apply for this particular funding or yeah. this grant. Yeah. Uh, it's very specific and very uh, restricted in regards to you have to do it by their book. Yes, absolutely. So just, again, talk a little more in regards to um, what types of chronic conditions and mm -hmm. wh what, what is this program okay. all about? Well, the Take Control of Your Health program is a complimentary six session, two and a half hour community workshop. And I like that because it is a community involved workshop. Uh, and it gives people with chronic conditions and caregivers can also take the workshop. It gives them knowledge, skills, and confidence to take a more active and proactive role in their health care. It actually encourages them, encourages them to be positive, and uh, it's a self-management program, which is intended to complement their um, professional health care services, not replace it. So what I think that is really important is that this is not medical. No, This is peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning I am, too, a certified peer leader. Yes, you are. Because I had 
the opportunity to take the class. Mm -hmm. um, and together, it's always two peer leaders in a class yes. production. Yes. And we have the opportunity of working with the members of the class. Usually, it's no more than 15. We mm -hmm. always have to have 10. So let's get that out there. We're looking for people who either want our workshop or who are willing to come yes. on this six-week basis. Yes. But because, and the reason why they're so specific about the number is because the interaction is the biggest piece of this whole program. Correct. Yes. It's taught by peer leaders, um, so we don't have a medical background, which actually makes it very, um, it's, it's better for the group to not have, you know, we can't give medical advice, uh, and we have to stick to the script in the book. We're actually working out of um, a, a workbook, um, and we have to follow a script so we don't miss any information. The whole concept being that this workshop is actually given in many places around the world, and if people go anywhere to take the class, we want the fidelity to be maintained, so we have to follow a script and make sure that we don't miss anything. And it's great to work with another peer leader because it makes for a more interesting class. And it's very interactive and there's a lot of activities going on and, and we're either doing brainstorming on a flip chart or pointing to pre-made charts that we, uh, we work from. And it's, it's, uh, it's a fabulous, fabulous workshop. So what type of chronic conditions um, are we talking about when we talk in regards to this class? Okay, we are talking about people with arthritis, heart and lung conditions, anxiety, diabetes, high blood pressure, depression, uh, insomnia, and et cetera. Now what happens is that ongoing health conditions affect how people live their lives. It affects how they experience their relationships and how they deal with their emotions. In addition to peer support through the class, people will learn practical ways to deal with pain and fatigue and discover uh, more effective ways to communicate with their family and with their doctors about their health. Uh, and then all participants receive this reference book called Living a Healthy Life with Chronic Conditions, which covers each of the weekly topics in more depth. And they get this, it's a complimentary book that they will get the, with the workshop. So that means it's free. It's free. <laughs> Everybody loves free. Um, and again, it's filled with really good information and tips mm -hmm. and also um, different charts that we use in the class so that people can revisit it after the class is over yes. and have it as a resource for them going forward. Absolutely. People love the book. We actually do give them, um, uh, there's a, uh, this chart, I'm going to just, this chart that talks about the workshop overview and we also give them a homework assignment, which is really a voluntary. No. I hate that word. I'm oh, sorry. Assignment. It's voluntary information that they can we, review. We ask them to. Um, <laughs> participate in the class after the class is over at their own that's pace right. and time. That's right. That's yeah. right. It's actually, yes, it's a list of what we talked about in the class and what refers, what chapters refer to what we talked about in the class. So they can read it if they choose to, which will just give them more details. So some of the, I, I, again, six weeks sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and we we occasionally get pushed back saying, ah, I don't know what I'm doing. but. Usually when people do sign up and come to the first two, they continue to come yes, back. Yes, they do. In order to, to receive a certificate, one has to uh, meet, um, a, attend at least four of the six classes. Correct. So we understand that there might be a break there, but we're not encouraging that. Correct. Um, in the class, though, there is a set curriculum every week. Yes. And some of the topics that you go over, maybe you'd like to um, reiterate or, sure. or share with the audience mm -hmm. some of the topics we talk about. Mm -hmm. Well, in the beginning, we have week one where we talk about the self overview of self-management and chronic health conditions and what is the difference between chronic health conditions and acute health conditions. There's a big difference there. Using your mind to manage your symptoms, getting a good night's sleep is important. And then we teach people each week on how to make an action plan. And this is really important because people tend to not do things because they get overwhelmed by the thought of what they want to accomplish, whether it's in their health or in personal things they want to do around the house. So we teach people how to do an action plan and take small baby steps and make a commitment to come back the following week, make a commitment to something they can accomplish within that week. And when they come back, they share their success stories. And um, it's actually, we've gotten great feedback on that because it's actually Baby steps help people get to an end result mm -hmm. that's much, much bigger. And over six weeks of doing action plans, 
it's, they transform they transform what they've accomplished. And we'll share in, in a little bit some of the success stories that mm -hmm. we've had. So what happens in week two? Week two, uh, we have fe the feedback, as I said, dealing with difficult emotions, physical activity and exercise. And people don't realize when they think of exercise, they may say, I don't have the time. Well, if you do 30 minutes of something a day, you can do it in two 15-minute increments, three 10 minute increments and break it down again in baby steps, you will accomplish something very good uh, over the course of a day and over the course of the week. Um, and yeah. we've had people who have been um, very unactive mm -hmm. um, in the classes and as they take the class, they are willing to try different things, yes. whether it's walking. I know one of, our, one of our participants, she just had to walk up and down the hallway that's all she could do, but mm -hmm. she went from zero to about four times yeah. by the end of the class, and that was a major accomplishment yeah. for her. You know, we also teach people to do things when they're watching TV. You know, during a commercial break, march in place for that minute. Something is better than nothing. Do, do arm exercises. Just do something that you're capable of doing right. to get started. And having those weights by the couch. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> In week three, what do we cover? Oh, well, uh, we also talk about preventing falls. I know a lot of people are, have a fear of falling, so we talk about ways to help prevent that. Uh, we talk about decision making and pain and fatigue management. And I know that we do a, a lot of exercises around distractions. Yes. In regards to when people have chronic pain, uh, different things that they can do to mm -hmm. alleviate that or to um, address it a little better than they had in the past and that seems to work really well. Yes, people don't realize and I love the exercise we go through uh, to show them the proof in how distractions do help you pass the time away faster um, and, and by distracting or meditating you really help yourself get through that or, um, or taking on activities um, such as walking and other mm -hmm. things like that that definitely distract you from your, your conditions and your pain. Yeah. So week four? Week four, better breathing, healthy eating, and communication skills, which is very important. Especially with your um, caregiver or your physician mm -hmm. or your medical team. And family. And family, mm -hmm. um, because I don't think that we, we take time to do that. I think we make assumptions or we're afraid to, and the whole issue of fear comes up on this conversation a lot. Correct. And so therefore we give them some tools to get past that. Because the more I know about what you need, the better I can help you. Exactly, and exactly. So that's exact. And we teach them not to be afraid to communicate and be open and, and not feel like they're gonna, a lot of people just shut down and just don't wanna talk about their problems and and when they do talk about it and reach out to a friend or a family member it you realize that the help and the assistance you can get through it uh, will really help you get through it and and work better with it yeah week five week five medication usage making informed treatment decisions and dealing with depression ah, the top the big D the big D yeah and it seems like everyone has a piece of that whether it's personal or within the family yes and they come up with great suggestions on how to get past that. Yes, so yes. Um, that's a really hot topic, um, unfortunately, in our workshop. Mm -hmm. And the last week is graduation week. So Yay. not only do we provide healthy snacks, in all of our weeks, we celebrate in week six. Mm -hmm. And so what do we cover? And I know that people graduate and get their certificates of, uh, of accomplishment, mm -hmm. and that seems to go well. It really does, and we get great, great feedback on that. Um, we, week six, the last week, is working with your healthcare professionals and systems, You're making the phone call to make the appointments or talking to your HMOs, and we, and we, and we talk about that. Weight management and future plans because once the six week workshop is finished we really want people to maintain doing the action plans good communication skills and we encourage that they exchange phone numbers and kind of form their own little club to keep this going for the future and i think that's the other key piece here during the six weeks they're not alone right um, the first week I know that we call everybody to make sure that they did their action plan or they're on target. Mm -hmm. And so they really appreciate that reinforcement. Mm -hmm. And then they do have their own little groups that they, they get together and kind of compare notes. Mm -hmm. and, we we um, find that a lot of people form new friendships if they hadn't known each other before because of this common bond that right. they now have. And we're hoping now that the, we're introducing the mall walking program that maybe they'll come together for one of our lectures that we'll be providing monthly going forward on nutrition education and 
and the importance of exercise, and we'll be working with Horizon and Kessler. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. And that's a result of this whole healthy aging slash brain fitness program or initiative that we're, we're doing. Um, let's just kind of get back to this because I think the other issue is that we're always looking for places to have our programs. Yes. So who was an ideal location for us to go to? Okay. We've held our workshops in libraries. Uh, we've gone to uh, community centers. We've gone to independent living facilities or retirement communities. Uh, we've gone to hospitals. And we've gone, we have them here, right here at SCAN, actually, which is awesome, right here on the premises. And we're looking for a location that has an enclosed room where we can close the door so we're not distracted. It needs to be big enough to hold between 10 and 20 people with tables. We usually have a U-shaped table with the, with the trainers at the front, uh, so it's like a, an O. And we need wall space because we hang lots of charts around the room to refer to. So if anyone um, is out there who would like to have one of these classes in their facility, they really should get in touch with us at SCAN, and we'd be more than happy to set this up. We are contracted to do 16 presentations per year, mm -hmm. and we would love to do it at your facility. The other piece that we're really looking for is to train the trainers. That's right. Um, and this is a great opportunity for people who are professionals or retirees mm -hmm. who want to stay active. And let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, we're looking for volunteers in the community who would like to help us present the workshops to facilitate the workshops. As we said, it, you're not by yourself. There's two people to each workshop. and. Um, there's actually, if they want to call SCAN, we will give them more information on how to do that. And uh, we definitely need more help because we're out there doing a lot of these workshops. So um, presently, we will be having two what we call master trainers mm -hmm. who've been trained under the Stanford umbrella yes. um, in regards to be able to train peer, peer leaders. leaders in the community. Correct. This is huge for us because now we don't have to wait for other people's schedules. We'll be able to do them ourselves. Yes, we can control it. And we really are looking for volunteers. I mean, this not only for this program, for other opportunities here, but I think that this gives purpose mm -hmm. uh, and meaning, and the results is, a, is very rewarding. So yeah. we're looking for people who can give us probably two hours uh, a week or for a six-week period. They only have to do it once a year to keep up their certification. Mm -hmm. But it's a great thing to have on their resume. Absolutely. Especially in their health care industry or if they're, if they're retired. Yeah. So we're looking for you. Mm -hmm. So please make sure you talk to us at SCAN. Mm -hmm. We have about three minutes left. Okay. So what I'd like to do is maybe share some of the success stories yeah. of some of the participants that we've already seen. Yes. I think to date we've We've trained over 100 people, and we are looking to train another 100 mm -hmm. um, by the end of this year. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. I have to say, being a peer leader is so rewarding because we're out there. We're teaching, facilitating, actually, the workshop because it's so interactive. And we're helping people really improve their lives. And it really feels good to be able to make a difference like that in people's lives. And, and the, the great thing is when you're helping someone else, you really get a lot back for that and you in turn help yourself. Plus you're learning a lot to even help yourself in your own family um, through the program. So share the story about the gentleman who stopped smoking. Yes, that's one of my favorite stories. He actually uh, said he had been smoking for 50 years and his family had tried to get him to stop for years and he just never did it. So he chose as his action plan every week to start reducing the number of cigarettes he was smoking each week. Week one he started with 20 cigarettes. And by the time we got to week six, he was down to four. The remarkable thing is we did find out after the workshop was over that he, fin he did complete the job and he finished. He, he got off the cigarettes and quit smoking, yeah. And how we know that really worked is that by accident, I, I met a, a member of his family who was in tears when she came up to me. And I have to tell you, I said, oh, goodness, what's the matter? And so she goes, I have to thank you because my dad stopped smoking. And That's so fabulous. that was just really great to hear. Yeah. And I didn't know about that. So mm -hmm. we, and we have a lot more of those kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. So again, before we close, can you tell the audience um, how to get in touch with us? Oh, yeah. And also that we, um, 
We're always looking for volunteers, mm -hmm. and if we don't have a class set up for peer training, that we would put them on the list. Yes, so absolutely. So a minute, go ahead. Okay, great. Well, I would ask that each of you uh, who are interested in either participating in the class or being a peer leader, call SCAN at 732-542. 1326. Right. Also, you can check the website for any upcoming workshops so that uh, you can either register through the website or call us and, and register as well. And again, we're looking for um, peer leaders that who can volunteer with us, not only in that program, but for other opportunities at SCAN. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. I loved it. And we'll be right back. Take it from me. Living with a chronic disease is no easy task, but I learned to better manage my health condition, and you can too. Take Control of Your Health is the chronic disease self-management program created by Stanford University. This fun, innovative course is now offered to all county residents. Diabetes, arthritis, heart disease, cancer. Take Control of Your Health gives proven strategies to manage these conditions and reclaim your life. See how nutrition, exercise, and various mind techniques can help you overcome depression, increase energy, and manage pain. You'll not only get this book when you participate, you'll also receive the guidance and support of others living with a chronic illness, just like you. Take control of your health in six short sessions. Call the number on your screen to register or get further information at ScanNJ.com. Brought to you by Scan Social Community Activities Network with funding made available by the Monmouth County Office on Aging. Welcome back. My name is Pat Bowes, and this is Welcome to SCAN. With me right now is the Program Director for SCAN, Andrea Tarr. Welcome. Hey, Pat. How are you? I'm good. I'm really good. This is my favorite month because it's my birthday, and I'm getting younger every year. You are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have a lot of stuff going on for um, now and, in, and, and going forward into the yes. fall. So yeah. what's on the agenda? Yes, your birthday month is very busy. And even though it's summer, it doesn't matter for SCAN, we're, we're very busy. Well, first, I, just, I do want to mention that the fall semester begins September 8th, mm -hmm. and that'll be here before you know it. And of course, with the fall semester comes the Boscov Campus of Courses, and that will start somewhere around mid-September, run for four weeks, so mid-September, mid-October. And I want to remind everyone that for SCAN members, all the classes are free. And that's a huge, huge benefit. We started that this year. Yes, and we, I think that when we announced it in, the, in February, um, we had at least 35 more people sign up for SCAN. Lots of people took and advantage of it. That yes. was fabulous, and we're hoping that we get a lot more going forward. Because it was, it was just worth it to become a member to take all the classes for free. It was, re it was really, it was the best, it was a great idea that we came up with there. So the other is that we're not doing catalogs anymore. So, um, and again, this is an issue that we've kind of been looking at because we're going through our reorganization, yes. especially around marketing. Yes. And the issue of being timely for the material to go out to our members and to our prospects so that they have time to pick the classes of their choice. And um, I just really want to reassure everyone that we will be doing a newsletter going forward twice a year minimum. Um, providing a lot more information and content, content mm -hmm. on topics of interest that, that they've been sharing with us. Um, and I'm excited about that. I think it'll be a whole new look. It's, and it's, it's a better idea. The, the, the classes, which will always be changing three times a year, that will just crank out. You'll get that in the mail. But twice a year, you'll get this newsletter, which will be much more, much more newsier and have our advertisers in there and other relevant information about SCAN. But of course, everything about SCAN is always on the website, so you don't have to be waiting for your uh, you know, for your, for your class schedule or anything else, you just go to scannj.com and everything, our events, our classes, et cetera, it's always on the website first. So we do have a bunch of events coming up. So yeah, we me, do. I'm going to talk about the art show because yes. this is the first year that mm -hmm. we're producing mm -hmm. the Monmouth County Senior Art Show. Um, I, it's a tradition here. Um, it's, it's usually the show is hung in the Manalapan Library yep. in the month of July slash August. 
and we will oversee that. Um, I'm excited about meeting new Audit, artists, yeah. and as a result of that, all of the first place winners were asking that we can hang their winning pictures or photographs yes. here at SCAN before it goes to the state show, which is late September. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. And then we're hoping to have our own reception uh, in regards to honoring all of the wonderful talent that will be hanging here. So that's something new for us, so that's exciting. The other is that we have our events coming up. Yeah, uh, our biggest event, October 21st, is our uh, Leaders of Distinction Awards Luncheon, and that takes place at Seabrook. It's our biggest event of the year. It gets bigger every year. And this year, um, a special honor is going to uh, seven senior center directors who've been in service for 10 years or more. So that's I'm excited about that. I mean, nice. I've been in the field for 35 years, mm -hmm. and how you always uh, kind of kid me about my humanitarian award uh, that I got last year. I, I, I really was touched by it, but also realized that we don't say thank you enough to people, especially in the field of aging. So um, they've agreed to accept yeah. to be honored, so we're excited. And then we're also honoring Investors Bank, who's been a wonderful supporter, yes. and then Tom Hayes from New Jersey Natural Gas. And I, mean, I don't even know how we begin to say enough about Tom. Yes, so we will um, do it in a lot of action. And then the other wonderful event that we're planning, because we had such a success last year, oh, is yeah. our brain. Brain fitness health fair. Yes. Yeah. And that's going to be November 7th. Yeah, we have a little more time on that one. But last year it was extremely successful, like about 100 and some odd people. Yeah. And, and this year we have a lot more participants or sponsors. I know that um, we have people who've committed to help us make this the biggest than the be best mm -hmm. one yet. Mm -hmm. Well, it's our second. And then the other thing that really is new to SCAN, not so new, well, it is new, is that we have introduced the um, SCAN Mammoth Mall Walkers Club. Yes. And so we're asking, that's open to the public, no matter how young or mature anyway, you are. Anyway, um, We yeah. just ask you to register mm -hmm. and uh, become part of our family. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited, and again, I want to take this opportunity to thank you and all of our staff and all of our volunteers for all the work that you do, because without all of your input, we would not be as successful as we've been in the last couple of years, so thank you. And I would like to invite our viewers to stop in at SCAN, which is in the Monmouth Mall, at any time. Thank you. How to locate SCAN. SCAN is easy to locate once you find the movie theater at Mammoth Mall. As you enter the parking lot from Route 35, the theater is almost directly ahead of you. Drive towards the theater, but go up along the left side into the parking lot. As you approach the end, you will see entrance number three on your right. Park and enter the building here. Once inside, you will see a staircase that only goes down. After passing through the doors at the bottom, turn to your left and scan is right there.